What's good, guys? Slips here, bringing you guys um, the follow-up video for my um, for my draft recap. For all of you guys who don't know, I am entering the GPBL Season One Pokemon Battle League, and Nintendo hit me up a couple days before all of this went down. He said, "Hey, you're a PokeTuber. You want to join my Battle League?" I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, I do. You should, like, hook me up. So, you know, we kind of worked out everything like that, and the draft took so long to do. It was ridiculous, but we finally got around. We finally finished it, and everyone has their minds. I don't really I don't really regret the choices that I made. You can see the choices I've made on my screen right, right there. Um, in the video, in the draft recap video, uh, my audio... I, re I did something really stupid. My audio wasn't recorded. It was just this and the music playing because there's a little symbol on my computer that tells me if my microphone is on or not, and it was on, but it didn't record any of my sound. I was commentating over the um, music, but I guess I must have missed something in the audio settings, but that's fine because now this has no music. This is straight commentary. This is letting you know Hey, this is this is my pick, and this is why I chose this pick, hands down. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the OU, which is the overuse in the top left corner of the screen. Um, first pick, going from right to left, I chose Charizard X. Char, this one was personal, very personal. I think Charizard X is by far my favorite Mega Pokemon. I love it, and it wrecks house. For those of you who don't really know me personally, I'm a huge fan of dragon types. Um, dragon types are literally my favorite typing beyond any other typing. Dragon, water are possibly my favorite typings, but that's for that's another video. That's another video. Anywho, I chose Charizard X because of any water type. I can even run Home Claws Iron Tail for any of those, for any of those um, fairy types, but that'll kind of be kind of discluded because of the other two other two choices in my OU tier, in my OU tier. So that might not ever happen unless I necessarily need it. But I chose Charizard X because it's a powerhouse. It's a monster. It's my favorite Mega. I want to win this entire Pokemon Battle League with some of my favorite Mons, and that's kind of what happened. I ended up picking four of my favorite, four of my favorite Pokemon in this league. I pick, I managed to scoop them up before anyone else did, and I'm graciously good for that. I think I nailed it down. But anyway, second pick in the GP video for the OU tier would be Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn because I figured that I was going to be dealing with a lot of bulky attackers in this league. I don't know what made me think I was going to be dealing with a lot of bulky attackers. So I drafted Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is a grass type. Granted, if you, when you're looking at my screen, it's the only grass type on my team, which is kind of bad because it's not an offensive grass type. It's a defensive grass type. But it's okay because it'll, it'll check out. It'll check out with the rest of my team. But Ferrothorn, Ferrothorn is my favorite steel type. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan of its only one weakness to fire because so many things can run hidden power fire. I think everything can run hidden power fighter. Fire. So technically, any Mon from any team is possibly a threat to Ferrothorn. Um, fighting types. We get hit pretty hard in OU with the fighting type. Um, ground. We get hit with that pretty hard. Just like common things. Um, I just figured that I would need a defensive wall for this league, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a, any other better chance if I was drafting Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn, I thought, would be a great choice to this team. It's a steel type, it's a grass type, it's two uncommon types that I would ever put on my team because I do not like grass and I do not like steel. But it's okay because I chat the fair. Alright, now my third pick was kind of a rushed decision. It was kind of a rushed decision. Because I would not have picked I would not have picked this mon knowing full force I had this other mon instead, but it's it's whatever. I ended up drafting Bisharp. Now, Bishop is a great Pokemon in the OU tier. It is a great Pokemon. Highly recommended. It. It's a great dark type. It's a great steel type. 
I'm just not a fan of its weaknesses. I'm not a fan of how you run Bisharp. But that doesn't mean that it's not powered. I've seen Bishop in action. It's absolutely powered. You could run Pursuit, Sucker Punch, Sword Stance, and whatever other move you could even put with that. But those three moves, you can take down that Mew. You can take down any Psychic type. Oh, Iron Head. You want to run Iron Head or something. I don't know if it gets Bullet Punch. If it got Bullet Punch, that would be absolutely scary. Bishop would probably be the best Steel type Pokemon offensively. But I don't know. I'll have to look into that once the GPBL starts, which is fine by me. I'm patiently waiting for that day to, for that day to start. So until then, your three picks for the OU tier: Charizard X, Ferrothor, and Bisharp. And with your OU captain being Charizard X, keep that in mind. I am choosing my own tier captains. I just love to do it. I think it's funny to do. Charizard X is the OU captain. OU captain. Now, if you look to the top right of the of the screen, you are going to see the underused, which is UU, for those of you who don't know how to spell. Um, going from left to right this time, my first pick. A lot of you people should already know by this pick that I love this Pokemon. I love this Pokemon without a doubt. It is my favorite Pokemon. It is my favorite Dragon-type Pokemon. It is my favorite type of Pokemon. I just, I don't know why I like it before. Literally, before when I saw Gumi and Sligu, I was like, eh, it's okay. I'm like, it's not that bad, but it, it could have been better as a dragon type. Gumi didn't really pique my interest at first, but then when I first played X and Y, I was like, I, 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 had, I had to go get it. I had to get a Gudra. I had to. This thing looks so cool. It's freaking adorable. It's adorable. I, it's adorable. Don't tell me anything otherwise. Don't tell me anything otherwise. You think Gujar is adorable, and I think it is too. But I got it because it's a special attacker, and it can take bulky hits. Now, the only thing about Gujar that I do not like is that Gujar gets no recovery moves. That's honestly kind of bad for that. Because what I'm looking at my team is that we're lacking a lot of recovery options. I think only one, two, and maybe three are like recovery mods, so recovering damage might be a problem for me. So I can't take too much damage. But yeah, the cap you already know the captain of UU is Gudra, without a doubt. It's my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's there to stay. I'm going to use my mascot to win the GPBL and put my name on the map. We're going to win this thing. Well, I'm going to try and win this. I'm not the best showdown player, but we're going to try and win this. All right, moving on to the sex picks. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Second pick, we have... When I selected this Pokemon, everyone was literally saying they hated me. Because this is Death This is death himself. I'm like, how? It's just an Umbreon. Behind my computer screen when I said that, I was grinning out. I was grinning so hard because, literally, I know what Umbreon can do. I would never do it because Toxic Stalling is kind of douchey. So I would never do... I would never Toxic Stall... But if I had to do it to win, I mean, hey, it's an option, but yeah. Umbreon, Umbreon, the bulky, the bulky defensive and special defensive mom. I, my only regret is that I wish it had a higher HP stat and a lower attack stat. Or special attack. No, I'd rather keep special attack because of Shadow Bowl. And all that good stuff. Dark Pulse, yeah. So yeah, Umbreon is another Pokemon that I just needed to have for bulk. Because I can obviously tell that I'm going to be getting hit with fire flamethrowers from Bisharp and Ferrothorn. So I was like, hey, why not draft two bulky special defensive mons back to back to handle out those flamethrowers? And because of Synchronized Flareon, if the other Pokemon is not a fire type, it'll actually burn something that I can potentially burn. I don't know if Hoopa Unbound is still OU, but I don't want to have to deal with that thing's crazy attack stat and crazy special attack. I don't. So dealing, so dealing with its attack is good enough for me. So Umbreon Synchronized is a great fit for me, I feel like. But hey, we'll never know until that end. And with the last pick of the UU category tier, whatever you want to call it, we have Needle King. I was really surprised. 
by the third round. No one picked up Needle King or Needle Queen. And I was like, you're joking, right? You know how powerful Needle King is, right? You know how powerful that sheer force is, right? Like, Needle King puts in the fight. Needle King is powerful. I don't understand why no one else got that. No one else got it. And I was like, I was real surprised because I don't have a poison type or a ground type. So I was like, huh. Really? Really? Okay, then. I was just so I, I drafted Needle King just for the sheer. I was surprised no one else did. It, Needle King was going to be my second pick if no one drafted. If someone drafted Umbreon before I did, that was going to be my original second pick. But I decided to go ahead and scoop up Umbreon as fast as possible because Umbreon is such a great mon. And the thing about in this league is that people were talking about how they're going to draft all these fighting mons. And I'm just like, okay, you draft all the fighting mons. I mean, whatever. I mean, I have foul play on my Umbreon for a reason. That's why I keep foul play on my Umbreon. You want to set up a Swords Dance? Get bodied in one shot. The same. Yeah, but Needle King's on the squad in the UU. He's going to put in work with that Sheer Force. <laughs> sheer Force Poison Sting. I'm going to Sheer Force Poison Sting everybody. And it's going to do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Just watch out. Just watch out. And we're moving down to the bottom left, where you can check out my Instagram and Twitter in the, in the below description below anyway we're going to be looking at the ru category which is i think it's my least favorite tier because i don't i'm i don't i'm not i'm very unfamiliar with ru but i'm way more familiar with nu and uu and ou so ru is probably my least favorite tier because i don't really tr i don't really play it in a lot now i probably did this wrong because I could have sworn that if I drafted Aerodactyl that I would get Mega Aerodactyl as well. That wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. I ended up drafting regular Aerodactyl because I didn't really need, I only, I would rather only have at least one Mega because everybody and their mom, everybody and their grandma was going to draft all the Megas out. I was like, And I was all like, I mean, Megas are cool and all, but I'm not going to draft, like, a whole bunch of Megas. Because Megas, some Megas are good, and some Megas are just plain bad. Now, I could have drafted, I could have drafted the Mega Audino, which would have been super crazy good for my team, because I don't have any healings. But I went with Aerodactyl, because I didn't have a Flying type. Or Rock type. I didn't have a Flying or Rock type, which, honestly, I'm okay with. I'm okay with that, and, you know, so I have, you know, I have someone that could put rocks on the field and take rocks off the field, because right now, only people, the only people on my team so far that I've named that are weak to rocks is just Charizard. My team does not really do, and plus, if someone wants to set up Poison Spikes, I have my Needle King for that, and if someone wants to set up Sticky Webs or any of that nonsense, I have Aerodactyl. Hopefully it learns Defog and all those other crazy shenanigans. Aerial Ace. Um, I might just consider running Rock Slide as opposed to Stone Edge because of the accuracy. I'm, I like to hit my opponents with as much precision as I possibly can while also doing the most damage. And Rock Slide might just be the long answer. Now I'm a little skeptical that there are, I don't think Aerodactyl can learn Brave Bird. I, don't, I think its highest flying hit is Aerial Ace. Which, I'm, I mean, it's a good move, but I don't see why it doesn't, I don't see why it doesn't learn Ray Bird. But, whatever. Aerodactyl is the captain of the RU squad. Just kidding. This next mon is, though, this next mon is amazing. I've used this mon so many times, it's amazing. The next mon listed is Copper Gigas. Copper Gigas, I was having a debate with um, one of my friends. His name is, um... I forgot his name. Um, Moises. I was talking with Moises. I forgot. I'm going to have his link in the description below. I forgot his team and whatnot. I, I don't care. I, we were, I was debating. I was like, yo, if someone scoops up Spiritomb, I was like, I'm going to get Copper Gigas then. If someone scoops up Copper Gigas, well, I'm going to get Spiritomb. 
Those are legit the two best mons in the tier. Comfort Gigas and Spirit Team, because they don't have any weaknesses. They only have one weakness. Well, no, Comfort Gigas has average ghost weakness, and Spirit Team only has one weakness. Which is amazing for this team, because I have someone that can take and hit, just take any hit. I have someone that can just take any hit and just, just go crazy. And that's fine with me, because I actually... You know, approve that. <laughs> so yeah, call for gigas. You know, I'm gonna be having the will o wisp, the pain split, the shadow ball, the I don't know what else I could possibly run after that, but I'm gonna find a way. I will find a way. I will find a way. We will figure that out together. When we play when we're playing the GPBL, we will find out together. Because I will be mixing it up the squad. I'll try not to bring the same six Pokemon every time. Sometimes that will happen. I only have 12 mons. I will, at least, I will at least try to use all of my mons at least once when they are needed. When they're needed the most, I will try to use them. So, yeah. This next pick was another one I was shocked about, but not really that shocked about. Um, Clawitzer. Clawitzer, I feel like if it had more speed, it would be in a higher tier. So, I'm just like, no one drafted this monster with this crazy special attack stat with Mega Launcher, Aura Spear, Water Pulse, Dark Pulse, whatever other pulse move you can name that I can't because I'm a Pokemon nerd and things like that. But seriously, Clawitzer is a great Pokemon. You scarf it and Water Pulse, Scarf Water Pulse is actually pretty hard to hit. If my, I would do the whole calking thing. I'll do it later when I have more free time. The whole calcing the Mega Launch ability and special attack and how much he raises it. But no, I got Clawitzer because I didn't have a water type on my team. And because the special attacks on my, the special attacks on my team looked kinda low, so I was kind of leaning towards more special attack during this during midway towards the GPBL. And so that's it for your rarely used, but your captain being Comfrey Gigas. And now if you move on to the left, the bottom right, the bottom right of your screen, you will see the NU logo, meaning never used. And you can also see my Twitch and my Facebook icon logos, which you can go see if you can follow and check them out in the, in the description below. Even though I haven't really started streaming on Twitch yet, that will come in the future when I have more of my glorious technology and my glorious monitors can actually Hold up the speed. I'll do all that later in an episode or video, whatever. But yeah, see those that. Now, I drafted this mon because I love it. I love it to death. This is the same. This is kind of the same way how I felt about Charizard X and Gudra. So this is kind of falls on the same. Plus, it kind of helps my team a little bit. It's a mixed attacker. It can be special and it can be physical. And it got decent speed in the never used tier. I would say it's the best water type in the in new tier. But I don't know. I don't really play competitive. Competitive. I don't play competitive. So I don't really know for real. But Samurai is the is also the team captain of the in new. Basically, I know how Samurai runs. I played Gen Five. Probably the second most. Gen 4 being the most, and then Gen 6 being the third. I'm not that big of a fan of Gen 1 or Gen 2. Gen 3 is kind of Gen 2. Gen 3 is kind of awesome, but Gen 4, Gen 5, and Gen 6. I'm not saying they're better. I'm just saying like I played those more times over and over than the previous games before. So, yeah, Samurai, I know you could do the whole Scald, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Mega Horn, Knock Off, Razor Shell, Swords Dance. So much you can do with Samurai. And it, he has the moves to back up his stats. He has the moveset, which I honestly like. I like that a lot. I think he gets X's to do, which is kind of nice. Kind of looking nice. But... Anyway, we're gonna move straight along. This is a mon from this is the mon that I was so shocked 
because I was wondering to myself back in um our back in the UU tier, why is um Yuxi and Azelf in UU? Where is Mesprit? Is Mesprit in? I was looking through the UU. And I was like, Mesprit's not in UU with Yuxi and Azelf. I was like, what? What tier is it? And I was like, it's an in UU. Mesprit is that bad? I looked at its stats, and its stats is literally like Rotom Wash. It's like the Rotom line, basically. But I was really surprised that no one drafted Mesprit. Mesprit is a slept-on Pokemon. Sure, its HP is bad to compel with its defense and um, special defense, but it's a Mesprit. It has that high special attack, and it, I'm pretty sure its moveset is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. If you, I haven't taken the liberty of looking through Mesprit's offense movesets or whatnot, but I'm going to do so when I have the time. I'm going to do so when I have the free time. Because I'm going to check it. I, I'm, I'm just saying. Mesprit could turn out to be a really slept on NU Pokemon. It could be putting in the finest of work. And might just win some of the games for me. Who knows? But hey, I think Mesprit was a really sleeped on Pokemon. No one got it by the second round I saw. Um, yeah, and since people were drafting a lot of um, fighting types, I heard, I was like, I don't have a psychic type. All I have all, The only thing I have to deal with um, these fighting types are flying, and my flying type may be faster than them, but it's not as powerful. So I figured, why not go for a psychic type that I could honestly use? And I found Mesprit, I drafted it. It was official. Mesprit is a member of the Grand Rapid Gujas, and I'm happy to have it along. And now, the last pick of the GPBL Season 1 draft. Um, I drafted another mom that was kind of slept on, but kind of not slept on, because I, I knew, I didn't think people were going to draft Rotom, like regular Rotom, because its stats were lower than any of the appliances it can take over. So I checked the Rotom fan. One because it gives me another flying type to handle all the fighting types that I was seeing I was seeing people draft. Second, it was an electric type. And it was a pretty fast electric type of that. It was it has decent speeds, not that bad. Um third, it was pretty much a good thing to draft uh if I couldn't draft Rotom Wash, it was kind of good for me to draft another Rotom counterpart. But I think I think NU is the only Rotom part that's um, Rotom fan is the only NU Rotom part that's um, in NU. So, which is fine by me because I've I've never used Rotom fan. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I will be using him shortly here in a few weeks for this um, battle league. I'm honestly kind of excited to be using another Rotom, because I've used Rotom Heat and Rotom Wash, but I've never used Rotom Frost or Rotom Mo, Mo or Rotom Fan. I've never used the other appliances, and that's kind of, I kind of wanted to see how you, how would you play with the rest of them. So, it was kind of more of a curiosity thing at best, but other than that, it was pretty much fine. But with that being said, guys, all of my links, all of the links that I promise will be in the description. My Instagram, my Twitter, my Twitch, my Facebook. Um, um, yeah, I'm probably going to copy-paste the links from my from the first draft recap back onto this video as well, just so you guys can know all of the things. Or you could just go check out that video and look at all the links at the description below, because that's pretty time-consuming. For me to do all of that, and I don't really think I could even face up in doing all that, but yeah. Other than that, that pretty much sums up my G my global Pokemon Battle League draft recap. This was supposed to be included in the video before, but like I said, my audio got messed up. So I had to redo the commentary, which was really hard. It's just that, you know, it sucks that I should know my equipment. I should know that my equipment is working at all times. I shouldn't know that, but I guess it didn't, which is fine, which is fine. I still get to commentate for you guys, and that's pretty much the big thing here. Um, I will keep you guys updated on, 
I will keep you guys updated on the GPBL stats. You can check you can check them out in the description below too. Check out their Twitter. Um, shout out to Moises and Nintendrew for helping me figure out some things. They may not you. you they may not know that I, that they helped me out, but you guys kind of helped me out just a little bit with my draft picks, just a tiny bit, because I was kind of scouting who you guys were picking and how everyone else was picking. So shout out to you guys. You know who you are, and if you watch this video, you're amazing. You guys are awesome, and I can't wait to just beat the living crap out of you in the GPBL. But it's okay because you guys are family. You guys are family now. Like literally, I've I've never done this before, and I feel like I know these guys. I feel like I know. I feel like I've known them for years. That's how quickly short it's, it's been but without further ado i think this video is long overdue this is a straight commentary beginning to end and i mean there's nothing else for me to really say you know oh well except for this one thing i almost forgot in the near in the future in a couple of weeks um be on the lookout for uh for team builder videos team builder videos because those are going to happen too. I'm going to upload team builders for my opponent, for my week one opponent, which is Steven. I'll probably have his link in the description below too. My week one opponent is um, Steven. I forgot what he's the coach. Again, his information is in the description. So there's going to be a team builder video. I don't know if I'm going to have someone, you know, do that with me or just do it myself. Either way, it's fine by me. I don't really care. But yeah, I'm good. there's going to be team team builder videos on Friday, and there's going to be the battle itself being on YouTube on Saturday. That's that's going to be the uploads when I battle these people. I think there's 16 weeks. I think. 16. I don't want to say 16. I don't really. I don't really remember. I have to go back and read the rules and regulations. But I will keep you guys up to date. Like I said, team builder on Fridays and the battle itself on Saturday. So you guys should be looking out for that. If if you guys need or have any questions, you can just comment below. I mean, I I'm there. I I see all of your little comments there.